Hiya guys, how you doing? It's so good to see you again. Welcome back. This is episode 247 and I'm Roger the Shave Lion. Whew. So good to see you. Hey you guys, we gotta remind ourselves that we can't be sitting on our hands. Don't sit on your hands. You know what I'm saying? Eh, maybe you know. Maybe you don't know. Don't worry, I'm going to flesh that out in just a moment. Today I'm going to be shaving, of course, and I'm using my lovely Tampa Shave Company's Tampa Edition razor. And uh, we'll be, we've got the Big Ben razor blade. This is my third shave on this, on this particular blade. Top side, the Moto Head blade. Very nice indeed. My soap for today is from Sterling Soap Company, Dunshire. Yes, lovely Dunshire. I gotta love it, Dunshire. Alright, and then I also have Panade Clubman Aftershave Lotion. It goes wonderful with Dunshire. I'm going to be using my Tampa Shave Company's Tampa Edition uh, Tampa Shave Company Galaxy Brush. It's 24 millimeter synthetic. I love it, love it, love it. Get one of these. They're wonderful. And I've also got the Georgetown Pottery Scuttle, which I'll be using, yes. And it's full of hot water and, whew, it's ready to go. All right, you guys, let's get to it. Join me for the soaping. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are once again. Isn't this wonderful? We have our brush, our scuttle, and our lovely soap. I'm going to go ahead and set the scuttle aside here, and I'm going to hydrate this brush first of all and get it squeezed out very good and then I'm going to open up the Sterling Soap Company Dunshire there you have it and I am going to bloom the soap today so I'm going to go ahead and add water to the surface of the soap just a little bit more here beautiful getting that ready so that uh, my brush can work it up in a very nice way and uh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful thing. Hope you guys are doing great today. I'm certainly doing well. Uh, continuing to wait on the Lord's progress on my car and uh, making, uh, giving my, my hope and patience to Him as much as I can anyway. This weak human being sitting before you, let me tell you. All right, let's go ahead and dump the water off this soap here. And we're going to go ahead and get this soap worked into the brush. That's right. Oh, and of course it's a creamy deal. I love Sterling soaps. They are always so slick and very, very well scented. And they truly shave well. I like them very much. Okay, we're going to get this nice and loaded up here. There we go, that's the loaded brush. I'm going to set that in my scuttle and all these extra goodies here I'm going to take out with my finger and put it into my scuttle as well. I know this adds quite a bit of time. I might decide down the line to stop the soaping in front of you, but to me this is part of the enjoyment of doing the whole thing and why not get to see it yourself? At least that's what I think anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and get my towel in the water. So I haven't done that yet. Alright, the towel is now in the water soaking. And now I'm going to put this in front. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a whip up. Let's see what we can come up with here. That's right. Oh, it's looking good already. See, this stuff really whoops very fast. It's creamy. It's thick. And wonderful. I don't even have to add water to this. Well, that is in part because this brush holds tons of water. So, uh, you know, it's not an issue when I use this brush. Boris hairs, that's a different, that's a different story altogether. This one, oh my goodness sakes, a lot. Look at that, isn't that lovely? 
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm going to go with that, my friends. So I'm going to let you stare at that lovely uh, foam for a while. And then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to grab God's Word. This is right after Judas had uh, betrayed Jesus. And, uh, and so... This is from uh, John chapter 13, beginning at verse 31 and going through verse 35. It says, When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and glorify him at once. Little children, Yet a little while I am with you. You will seek me, and just as I have said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another just as I loved you. You also are to love one another. By this all people will know that you are my disciples, if you, love, if you have love for one another. All right, there's God's word. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We're going to look into this right away as we get upstairs for our shave and devotion. Please join me. <gasps> oh my goodness sakes alive, you found me! Whew. All right, well, we got to get this thing going. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh my goodness sakes alive. I got to get this Bible opened up back to where I had it. Good thing I marked it. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and squeeze out the hot to trot towel. And believe me, it's a hot to trot <gasps> towel. That's a good thing. I am very pleased to have a hot to trot towel. And so now it's time to present the towel. Lovely. Wonderful. Lovely. Okay, my friends. As disassociated my words might be from the text today, I need to explain something to you. But first, let's get some lather on my face, shall, shall we? Oh, yes, and I gotta bring my mirror in here, otherwise, you know, I just won't be able to see it, right? And I'll really be having a trial here. Uno momentos. There's my face. I'm anticipating a little bit of uh, nicks today. My face is a little on the sore side. I've got some high spots. We'll see what happens. What I want to explain to you in all of this is that Jesus is going away. He is in this, in this scripture. He is going away, and he tells his children that they can't come where he is going. Now we know for a fact that he is coming back again. He is coming back, you know. Remember, he told his disciples, I am going to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I'm going to come back and take you to where I am so that you might be there also. Hey, it's part of his plan. And the point I'm going to make in all of this is getting back to the sitting on your hands thing. Are you sitting on your hands? What are you doing with your life? I mean, hey, let's face it. We are all excited that Jesus would come back. At least everyone who believes in him is excited. And that's a wonderful thing. We should be excited. We should be thrilled. We should be eager. We should be looking to the skies, waiting for, in anticipation for his coming. Any true Christian will tell you, I can't wait, and they long for the Lord to come. But what do you do until then? Now, a lot of people who know that he's coming back in the rapture, they are simply throwing out their lives. 
It's almost as if they packed the bags up, they're ready to go, they're sitting at home, they're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And they're letting the life and the opportunities of their life pass by. My friends, that should not be. Because like it or not, the Lord wants to come for people who are ready for Him, granted. But He wants to come home to people who are focused on what He has called us to do. And what has He called us to do? That's where the second part of this lesson comes in. He calls us to love one another. Okay? I mean, yes, in a general sense, love one another. And in a more specific sense, love one another with the gospel. He wants us sharing the gospel. He wants more people to come to the knowledge of the truth and to be saved. He wants people to come to... He wants people to come to faith in Him. I mean, this is very important. We don't want to... We don't want to live our life... Sitting on our hands. Because quite frankly, if he comes finding you sitting on your hands doing nothing for him, what reason does he have to take you? I'm serious about this, my friends. What reason does he have to take you? If you are simply sitting there, biding your time, It's a very, very good thing to ask ourselves. What are you doing? Okay. Now, I'm not here to boast. I'm worshiping every day. I am doing these videos to proclaim the gospel. I am preaching in my workplace. I'm doing what I can. I'm trying to be consistent with it. And I'm not worrying so much about when he'll come back. Because let's face it, my friends, no one knows the day or the hour. No one knows when he's coming back. We have no idea, honestly. And yet, the time is now. The time is very soon. Can't you feel it? Can't you see by everything that's going on in the world? How things are being shaken in the heavenly bodies, how the earth is shaking through the earthquakes, and all the strange and nasty viruses are popping their ugly head up, the pestilences. Can you see the ungodly living in their ungodliness and continuing in it? Can you see all of that? My friends, we're living in the end times. We really are. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like I said, I wasn't trying to boast where I was explaining to you how I'm living my life, okay? There are people doing His will who can't do all those things. But what can they do? What could anybody do? You could pray. You could pray for the success of the Lord's plans. You could pray for people who are struggling in the faith and 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 and, and pray for them so that they have that that support to come back into that into the word. You could pray for all those people who are working against you. You can pray all kinds of things, my friends. Pray. That's important. You show love to one another. That's what he wants you to do. Praying for people is showing love. 
and it doesn't cost you a dime. But speaking of dimes, if you can afford it, help someone who's down on their luck. You know what I'm saying? Help someone who needs that help financially. If you can afford it, why not? Spread the Lord's love in that way too. My friends, there's no end to the things that we can do. Because quite frankly, sitting around doing nothing, <laughs> it's a waste of time, obviously. I mean, it's a waste of time. Physically, emotionally, and spiritually. The Lord wants us to live knowing He's coming back. Because He is. And very soon. But He wants us to live with the expectation that there is time to affect as many people with the Gospel as we can. Do that! Because, my friends, we need that. Yep, uh, I'm not really Nicky, but I can tell my skin's kind of irritated. So, you need to do this. You need to make your life focused in Him. To the point that when God appears, whenever He appears, that He's not finding you lacking. Okay? He needs to find you doing something for Him. So pray to Him. Speak with Him. Find out exactly what it is that you are supposed to do with Him and for Him. Believe me, He'll tell you. He'll make it crystal clear to you if you ask Him and listen for His voice. And in doing so, we're not simply sitting on our hands. We're working for His goal and for His glory. Got it? Good. Alright you guys, guess what time it is. Oh yes, I need some work. It's gonna be fast forward time. Well, it's fast forward time. Let it go. Yay, I'm done! How about that? Whew. It sure feels good. Veronessa. Alright, you guys, let's go ahead and get her on with this <sighs> slightly painful part the Panade Clubman Aftershave Lotion. Oh, not too bad. A little bit of stinging, mild. Whew. All right, very good. I am set for another day. All right, very good, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, the Lord is coming. Don't sit on your hands. Do something for the Lord. Continue in perseverance. Work with Him. Find out what it is He wants you to do and work on it. And don't give up. Remember, He's coming in His own time anyway. You can't force it. You can't command it to come. It's going to come when the Father is ready. Remember, Jesus doesn't even know the day or the hour. Only the Father in Heaven knows. Alright? And the Lord has 
agreed to this in his own self that he would not know the time until the father says, okay, you go. All right? Remember this. All right, you guys. Have a great day in the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And may he give you Nick Free and baby butt smooth shaves. Have a great day, everyone. Toodles.